Send me, 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 send me. Welcome to Send Me Radio. We promote the gospel. Download our free app, Send Me Radio, from the Google Play Store. Visit our website at www.hesendme.com to subscribe and contact us. Like and share us everywhere. God bless you, listeners, and welcome to our Send Me podcast. Today we're live on Facebook, Twitter, and we also have our app that you can download from the iTunes store, which will have all our messages or interviews, and you can listen to them 24 hours per day. We'd like to welcome you to today's podcast live right here. You can call in, you can listen in to our program, and also if you'd like to share, you can call in. Would like to welcome our listeners from London, United States, Austria, Thailand, all over the world, wherever you're listening to Send Me. God bless you. Today, we'd like to welcome our host for this evening, Pastor Chidi Okori. God bless you, listeners. I want to thank God for you. I want to God give God the glory for what he has been doing in our lives. I want to thank you also for your encouragement and more especially those that have been following us every week and the testimonies that have been going through this prayer line. So I want to thank you and I want to encourage you that we keep on praying because the day of the Lord is here. And the Lord is initiating his armies and calling his armies to war. So I want you to understand that there is war going on in every aspect of life. War, unending war, is constantly going on. The physical war, the spiritual war, the emotional war, geographical war. So all wars that is going around can only be won by God, who is constantly with us. So. I would say, if God be with you, no one can be against you. With God, all things are possible. God. And Jesus said, Lo, I am with you till the end of time. So we're going to pray. I just want us to you know, lift up our voice and give God thanks because of what he's doing. For he has given us another privilege to be in his presence. So can we just give him praise and glory? For him alone deserves all the glory. All the glory is of God. And it is for God no man can take the glory of God. Can we just give him thanks? He gives us the strength he gives us the ability. He gives us the power even to live and to be sustained in this life without any sickness, without any weakness. So can we just give him thanks? In the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you worship. Hallelujah. For you alone is God. You are awesome. Lord. There is no one that can be compared with you, thank O God. You, Lord, thank you for your goodness. Lord, thank you, for you your mercy. Thank teach you for your our hands to fight and our fingers. Teach our hands to war and our fingers to fight. Mighty God, you have been the one that have allowed us and give us the opportunity to win constantly the wars that constantly come against us both the emotional war both the psychological war both the 
physical and the spiritual war, mm -hmm. the unseen war, mighty God, you are the one that we will give glory to mm -hmm. because you have caused us to win all our wars. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, this evening, I want to be talking to us on the subject I called Daily Burden is God's. Before we get there, I want you to realize that in our life, there is always a conflict. There is always a constant war that is going on. Sometimes it is a spiritual war. The war that we don't, we cannot fight only by the Spirit of God. The unseen war, the war that it is only God that can fight this war for us. Because we live in the physical and we already know that our physical transactions and our physical being, our physical vocations are ruled by the spiritual. Therefore, if the war that we are fighting cannot be won in the spirit, it will have a huge effect on the physical war. Therefore, we pay more attention to the spiritual war. So I want you to understand that. I want you to know that the, the spiritual war that is constantly trying to overwhelm us can only be fought through God. Amen. So when you are not by God, when you don't know who God is, when you don't understand, when you don't acknowledge God, when you don't go by God's way, then you will be losing the war. The, the war will constantly overwhelm and subdue you. When God said he has created you to subdue the earth, he has created you to to be fruitful, he has created you to be a winner at all times. That is who God has made you to be. Amen. But the only way this can happen, the only way you can reach these objectives of God, the only way you can touch the goals is by subjecting yourself to God and submitting to the will of God. So when I say that that our burden on daily basis is God's, this can only happen when you submit to God's will. It can only happen when you surrender to God. It can only happen when you totally allow God to rule in every aspect of your life, both physically, spiritually, and emotionally. So these things are very, very important. Before we continue, I would like to read Psalms chapter 68. I'm going to read from verse 1. Just follow me as I read. He said, Arise, O God, and scatter all your enemies. Chase them away. Drive them off like smoke before the wind. Melt them like wax in the fire. So let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Hmm. It is only by the presence of God that your enemies will perish. There are so many enemies. Like I said, 
the physical, the spiritual, the emotional enemies. You know, sometimes the enemy will begin to preach to you and you will begin to get emotional. The enemy will begin to preach or situation around you will begin to preach to you and tell you the only way you can make it now is to begin to commit evil, is to begin to commit sin, is to begin to go against the will of God. Maybe the Lord promised you so many things, so much things. You have so much vision. God has shown you many things, but the enemy will come to preach to you so that it will shortcut the will of God. It will prevent you from reaching the will of God. And you will begin to obey them by listening the suggestion, listening to the suggestions of the devil, telling you that you will not amount to anything. The way you are going now will set you back. The way you are going will not allow you. In fact, sometimes he will begin to preach to you that this Bible and this word of God means nothing. Like a, a woman was saying on the television one time that the Bible is an old story book. Now you don't need to listen to it. Because the devil has blinded their mind. And these are the people that men look up to. They are the model, the people, the leaders of the world. And they are telling you that the word of God is an old-fashioned story. Now, the devil can come with many preaching or situations around you. I mean, you are not seeing any way through. Nothing seems to be going on. And then the devil will begin to whisper to you and telling you that the word of God means nothing. You need to uphold the power of God. You need to know that when God speaks, no man can stop it. Amen. When God promises, no man, no, no, no spirit, not even your emotion can stop it. Many times we think that God moves because of our emotion, because of the way you can cry, because of the way you can get angry. God does not listen to all those things. The only thing that moves God is His Word. The only thing that moves God is the ability for you to stay in His will. The capacity for you to stand in the Word of God. That is the only thing that moves God. You can cry from now till eternity. It does not move God as His Word. The thing that moves God is His will, His word. The only thing that will make God to stand and scatter your enemies is His presence. If you are able to attract the presence of God, if you are able to stay in His presence, then victory is sure. Victory is sure if you are standing in his presence. Because he said in the book of Psalms, chapter 68, he said, Arise! Let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Arise, O God! Arise, O God! Arise, O God! Where will God arise? God will arise in his presence. And what is the presence of God? The presence of God is where God dwells. Remember, there is a scripture that said, Do not tread where the angels fear to tread. The only thing that commands the traffic of angels is when you stand in the word of God. When you stand in his presence. When you do not go against the will of God. When you don't move into places where the angels fear to tread. So you need to understand this. 
for you to know how God carries our load on daily basis. The load, the burden is of God. It's God's, it's not your burden. He said, cast all your body in the book of First Peter. If you read First Peter chapter 5, verse 7, cast all your cares unto him and he will carry them. He has the ability to carry any kind of load, any kind of burden, any kind. If you are seeking for job, if you are seeking for, 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 for fruit of the womb, if you want anything from God, if you want wisdom, if you want faith, if you, if you want healing, those things that is helping you to stand in His presence. Because I know that when somebody is sick, the person cannot constantly or happily stay in the presence of God. So what allows you to stay in His presence, to stay in his presence is God that will give you those things. So why are you going against His will? Why are you so worried that you are now deviating from the word of God? You are now digressing from the way of God. You are now moving away from his presence. What is that? He say, what can separate us from the will of God? What is that? What is what 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 is that that has the ability of separating you from the will and the love of God. What is that? Is it burden? There is no burden that God cannot carry. Let me read on. He said, drive them off like smoke before the wind. Melt them like wax in fire. So let the wicked perish in your presence. But may the godly man exalt. May he rejoice and be merry. Sing praises to the Lord. Raise your voice in songs to him who rise upon the clouds. Jehovah is his name. Oh, rejoice in his presence. He is the father of the fatherless. He gives justice to the widow. He, for he is holy. He gives families to the lonely. And releases prisoners from jail. Singing with joy. But for rebels, there is a famine and distress. I'm reading this to all those who think that their problem is so huge that God cannot touch them. Their problem is so huge that God cannot reach them. The Bible said, He gives family to the lonely. If you are looking for the fruit of the womb, it is only by God. It is only through 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 God. If you are among those listening to me, and that is your priority, you need the fruit of the womb. You want baby. You are married for many years, and there is no child. God is speaking to you this time, and telling you that it is only by me. You need to come close to me. You need to come to me. You need to re you need to you need to depend on me. You need to trust me. You need to come. And learn the ways of God. You need to come and learn how to praise God. You need to understand this. It is only God that gives family. So he gives family to the lonely. He is a father to the fatherless. So perhaps you have lost somebody. And you are feeling so down. You don't know how to cope. You know, Father is a very big significant in our life. It's a very significant figure in our lives. Father, mother, or anybody representing them, or anybody that stands in that regard as a father to you or a mother to you. When you lose them, you have lost a huge in your life 
But God said, He is the father of the fatherless. He gives family to the lonely. And for the widow, He is, He gives justice. And those that are in prison, the Bible said, He will release them from prison. Maybe you are in prison. Maybe physical or emotional prison. Maybe you have been in love with somebody that have constantly torment your life, torment your heart, has broken your heart, has shattered your being. God is available for you. You need to understand that. The only way to have joy, to have full happiness in this life is to run to God. It's to accept Jesus Christ as your own Lord and personal Savior. Say, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden. All ye that are heavily burdened. Your burden is so heavy. He said, come, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Come. I am the one that is going to give you rest. Rest is of me. So your daily burden can be carried. According to the same Psalm 68. From verse 18. He said he ascends the heights. Leading many captives in his train. He receives gifts for men. Even those who once were rebels. God will among us, will live among us here. What a glorious Lord. He who daily bears our burden also gives us our salvation. He who always bear our burden, our burden. He constantly bear our burden. He, he gives us the ability to live free. He said, when the Son of Man sets you free, you are free indeed. You will receive freedom. Freedom. Spiritual freedom. Physical freedom. Psychological freedom. Sociological freedom. The psychosocial freedom. The emotional freedom. Every kind of freedom. Is given by God. Man cannot give you freedom. When they claim they give you freedom, they will attract you and imprison you from another way. Praise the Lord. So you need to understand this before you know how to worship and to allow those things that have been troubling you for life. Those things, I mean, you, your husband left you, or your wife has left you, or your children does not listen to you anymore, or your business is not going the way you want it. Things are going haywire. Things, things are terribly rough. Every appointment you had since this year has been a disappointment. You need God. You need God. You need Jesus Christ to pattern your life, to help you. Because He has the ability. He has the ability. No man can give you joy. He has the ability. He gives you joy. He, he, he daily, the Bible says, He daily supplies us with plenty joy. Plenty. He supplies us many, many plenty of joy. So that you will be glad in his presence. The devil has nothing to give. The devil has nothing to give. So you need to understand that. You need to understand that. Before you will know how to follow this God. We are going to pray. I want us to pray that God will remove every burden that have troubled our soul. Yes, I'm speaking to somebody right now. 
every burden every burden that have troubled your soul every burden that have weighed you down for three days there's somebody that is listening to me now for three days you have not slept because you have been troubled you have been tormented by this particular event that happened in your life as a matter of fact somebody break your heart but today god is speaking to you he say i am the lord who bears your daily burden who takes them away i want you to understand that i want you to know that he is god he's speaking to you said i am the lord so you need to submit those burden to me and i will bear it and i will give you rest so open your mouth and begin to pray now. Lord, take away this trouble from my heart. Let me sleep. You see, he gave that his beloved sleep. Those things that have not allowed you to sleep, you need to take it to God. You need to take it to God. Just open your mouth right now and begin to oh, begin to speak to God that I need this body to go away. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this burden go away. Maybe you had a disappointment that is almost breaking your heart. It's as if all hope is gone, but that is not true. You need to know as a child of God, somebody you are listening to me now, you need to know that as a child of God, all things work for good to those that love God. You don't allow your body to subdue you, to weigh you down, to bring you what I call emotional trauma. Do not allow the body to traumatize your emotion, to quake and shake your emotion to the point that you will be angry with everybody around you. You will be angry with yourself, with everything around you. You need to know that God is in control. Just lift up your voice and begin to thank him. He is the Lord. He changes not. He is the Lord. He changes not. He is the Lord. He changes not. He is the Lord. He changed not. He is the Lord. He changed not. He is the Lord. He changed not. He is the Lord. He cannot change. He is the Lord. He changed not. He is the Lord, 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 He changed not. I want you to open your mouth and begin to speak to God. Talk to him. The Bible said that power belongs to him. In the same Psalm chapter 68, verse 34. Power belonged to God. He has the power, he has the ability to subdue all your enemies. Your enemies is that that has been troubling your soul, that have been bringing stress and distress, that is almost taking you to, to you know, taking you to the hospital. You are now having a high blood pressure, a young person like you. You need to understand that God can take away your body. The Bible says, cast, cast all your body. Cast all your body. It didn't say give it to the Lord. It said, cast it. Throw it on him. Throw it down. I say, Lord, this is your problem. I want you to open your mouth and begin to speak to God. That which has troubled my soul. That which have not allowed me to sleep for two good days. Oh God, take them away. Take them away. Take this burden away. 
In the name of Jesus, I want you to open your mouth and begin to release the fire of God. You're going to shout fire. You that is listening to me right now, you're going to shout Holy Ghost fire seven times and begin to decree and declare that you are a winner. That this burden is subdued by the fire of God, by the power of God. Open your mouth and declare Holy Ghost fire seven times as you begin to pray. Holy Ghost fire. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. We begin to declare every burden that has troubled our soul, every burden that has troubled our emotion, every burden that have not allowed us to sleep for many days. Hey, we command that the fire of God we subdue you now. We destroy you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take back my emotion. I take back my joy. I take back everything that the enemy has taken away from me because of this burden. I release this burden unto the Lord and I command that this fire of God will subdue them. We subdue them. We subdue them. We subdue them. We subdue them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the glory of God arise. Let the enemies of God be scattered. Holy, holy is the Lord God. Is the Lord God. Is the Lord God. Holy, most holy is the Lord God. Is the Lord God most high. Most holy God, holy, most holy is the Lord God, is the Lord God, is the Lord God, holy, most holy is the Lord God, is the Lord God. Most high, most holy God is holy, most holy is the Lord God, is the Lord God, is the Lord God, holy, most holy is the Lord God. Is the Lord God most high? We're still praying. I want us to pray for our children. Those of you that are listening to me now, your children find it difficult to take your advice, even though you are giving them good advice, even though you are trying to pull them in the path and the way of God. But they are not listening. And this has been a torment in your soul. I want you to lift up your hands and begin to mention the names of those children. And those of you listening, I want you to also pray for your children that they will not depart from God. And those that have departed, that God will draw them back to himself. That those emotional trauma that these children has been giving to you will cease from today. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth as you declare the blood of Jesus Christ seven times. Begin to declare that the blood of Jesus Christ has given me victory. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth seven times as you declare it, the blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The, the precious blood, blood of Jesus Christ. Christ of we Nazareth. begin to declare yes, Lord. that the blood of Jesus has given us victory yes, over our children. Mm. Mighty God, our children shall not be wayward. Mm. They shall listen to good advice. They shall listen, O oh God, to the word of God. They shall obey the word of God. The word of God shall be their model. Mighty God, we decree and declare 
that television shall not train our children. Mighty God, the media shall not train our children for us. The computer shall not train our children for us. Open your mouth and begin to begin to pray. Begin to pray that computer will not train your children for you. That the computer will not have influence. Hey, the media will not have influence. Phone will not have influence over your children. But the word of God. Let the word of God take preeminence in the life of our children. In the life of our siblings. In the life of our teenagers. I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray. That God will take away the burden that is all constantly subduing these children. The burden, the burden, the burden, the burden. I want you to open your mouth and begin to decree that the blood of Jesus Christ has made them an overcomer. Open your mouth and prophesy unto them. Prophesy to their being that they are overcomers. They shall not be wayward. They shall not go in the way of the end time children. The children of disobedience. Ha. The Bible said they move by the powers of the air. The, the spirit of disobedience that moves by the powers of the air. They move through the air to influence the children, to influence the teenagers. They move through the media. They move through the phone. They move through the radio. They move through all. They move through the computer just to ensure that the children does not obey the Lord, that the teenagers does not obey the Lord. But today we are going to command by the fire of God, by the blood of Jesus Christ, that our children will not go by the way of this spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that our children will not be wayward. They shall not go through the way of the spirit of disobedience that is moving through the air in this end time, bringing burden, burden, spiritual burden upon our teenagers, sexual pornography. I got that baluko brenegede. I want you to open your mouth and pray that no pornography shall rule over my children, over me, over my household. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to open your mouth and pray. Yes, you can declare justice upon their life. That God, who is the main judge, will judge the children against the 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 the, the, the spirit of the end time, of disobedience that moves around to confuse the teenagers, to destroy their soul. Begin to pray now that every soul, every teenage soul or teenagers living around you will be rescued by the blood of Jesus Christ. Will be rescued by the blood of Jesus Christ. Will be rescued by the blood of Jesus Christ. Will be delivered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Your children will be delivered by the blood of of Jesus Christ. Yes, because the Bible said that these children are inheritance from the Lord. It is the Lord that gives us these children, that gives you, that gave you these children. I want you to pray for them. Do not keep quiet. Open your mouth and decree and declare. You have been speaking to them and they're not listening. I want you to go on your knees and begin to talk to God because God is in control. God is in control. God is our deliverer. God is our daily burden bearer. Alpa Kenatolo, Rabande Kreduskiba, Zubrenekin de Lukaba, Ratia Mustefa, that God will rescue them. God will deliver them. God will uphold them by his right hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I want you to pray for your household. Begin to sprinkle. If you have oil in your hand, those of you that are listening to me, if you have oil in your hand, olive oil, cooking oil, we're going to pray that that oil will become a contact of the power of God. Because there is power that is moving from this particular point is going to reach you wherever you are. Just take up the oil and begin to anoint your house. That my house shall not be a, a, a playground of the devil, of the demons. That my house shall be a house that commands the presence of God. 
that governs the presence. I want you to open your mouth that my house attracts only the presence of God. With that oil, as you sprinkle that oil on your bed, on the four corners of your room, on your doorpost, no demon, no devils shall touch your household. No disease. Open your mouth. Every disease hovering around, whether seasonal sicknesses or seasonal diseases, changing of weather, ah, carbon toner, they shall not touch you. They shall not touch your house. Your house is sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, anoint that place, anoint your doorpost, anoint your kitchen, anoint that when you cook, you are cooking healing for your children. You are cooking healing for yourself. When you shop, you are shopping healing. None of them shall be sick, but they shall be healthy. Oh yes, open your mouth and begin to pray. Baklevata, Ramos Tebrana, begin to claim the healing power of God, that your house will be a solution ground, not a problem ground. Hey, anybody, anoint your house, anoint anywhere, anoint the corners of your house, that as you begin to anoint them, that anybody that is in confusion, as soon as he enters your house, he shall receive direction in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that is sick, as he enters your house, because of this anointing, because of this sprinkle of the anointing oil, anointing oil, that healing will flow, healing will touch such soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We give you glory because of what you have done in our lives today. We give you worship, Lord, because there is no one like you. You alone is God. You have taken away our burden. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. Yes, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. As we pray, Father, we thank you. Because you have received our burden. You have loaded us with benefits. On daily basis, you gave us this benefit. Benefit of healing. Benefit of God. Of power against demons. Against our enemies. Thank you, Father. We give you praise and glory because of what you have done in our lives. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless your listeners. And I'll see you next week. We'd like to thank our listeners for tuning in to our Send Me Broad podcast. We certainly hope you'll join us again next week, Tuesday. Same time, same place. Right here, we'll be streaming live on Facebook. You can also download our app, Send Me Radio, from the iTunes Store. It's free and it's available worldwide. God bless you.